Hello and welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here. Thank you once again for joining me on the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning friend, then please hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. And it really does help out the channel to reach out to more people, expanding the network of mischief. <laughs> if you are new, then please consider pressing that subscribe button so you can see my videos next time they're released. I talk about all kinds of things, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, passive income earners, over all the blockchains. Today we are focusing on the Binance Smart Chain and we have a caveman holding a stone. He is part of the Stone Age NFT marketplace. That's right, an NFT marketplace. NFTs are hot, hot, hot. We all know this, we all know this. And an NFT marketplace opening on the Binance Smart Chain cannot be ignored, especially with the planning and the social networking that StoneAgeNFT.com really does have. We're going to be looking through the site today. It has not launched yet. We have a launch countdown of 12 days until this uh, site does launch. They do have one token already released. We're going to have a look at the charts for that, but it's a two token ecosystem. One token is still available for pre-sale and it's coming very soon. We're going to talk about the pre-sale. We do like a nice pre-sale and we are also going to look at the beta website and see how to get signed up on that. So the first thing I want to do for this video is just give you a little bit of a tutorial on how it works. Of course, to set up on an NFT marketplace, you do need to have your own profile. And on Stone Age, you can set up your own distinct profile, which is quite cool. Uh, so we will go to Connect Wallet, making sure that you are on the Binance Smart Chain on your wallet address. So this is my wallet address here, and I will go to Edit Profile. We just can kind of work around how we want to present ourselves in the marketplace. You can choose GIFs or images. I'm sure I have something lying around. Let me have a look. I'll use my Mischief Shillers. We should all be shilling. So I use my Crypto Mischief Shillers Telegram uh, picture. You can check out my Shillers Telegram, link in the description. Link in the description for everything I'm talking about today. Display name, Crypto, uh, Richie, Crypto Mischief. Uh, bio, I take ridiculous risks so you don't have to. <laughs> URLs are allowed, so I could do my bio, then I could get my YouTube channel, grab my channel, and also put that in here. Then I would update that by sending that there. For now, this is how I would set up my, um, my account on Stone Age NFT. The creating, uploading, and trading NFT features are not yet running on StoneAgeNFT.com because the platform has not launched yet. You will have to wait until the 22nd of October to be able to do any of that. But the guys at Stone Age were nice enough to give me some test tokens to try out their beta network, which is fully functional. So I will be switching over to the Binance. From the Binance Smart Chain, I'm going to switch over to the Binance Test Chain, Binance Smart Chain Test Chain here, where we can connect our wallet and get going in this. I should have some of their native GES token, gemstone token, um, but it's the test gemstone token to play around with. So let's have a look if we can do that. We do have the home, home page, where we have the launch, 12 days, six hours. We have eight NFTs have been created on this test net. Let's have a look at them. Here's some of the NFTs. Um, people are just trying out the platform here. For example, I would look and I would say, ooh, this one's nice. So have a look at this. Oh, Sky, what a lovely NFT. We have here royalties, Ro no royalties going to this person. Max supply of this is one. Uh, I could click then buy. I have 1000 guests, GES token. So then test tokens. So now we take that 15 GES, I would approve that. So GES will be the native token of the Stone Age NFT marketplace. Okay, I approved and now I purchase. To create an NFT on Stone Age, we would need to get here. Okay, we can make multiple or single. So the difference between a BEP721 and a BEP1155 is that you're either making a one of a one or many of a many. So I like the idea of just making one of the one. So let's choose the file. So we have the Crypto Mischief logo. Uh, I need to put that on sale. I'll choose the collectible. Of course it's collectible, come on. It's called Don't Get correct description one of a kind nft baby royalties when someone buys that i want 10 percent of that properties 
uh, the size, this is optional, so I'm going to leave it because I don't actually know. The storage fee to keep this on the marketplace will be one GES token, test token, okay? So I choose all that and click mint. Royalties means that if it's bought or sold, how much do I make from that every time it is bought or sold? Minting my NFT. Then I need to decide on my price. So of course it's going to be, I think 100 GES is enough. And when sold, there's a service fee of 2.5%. So when it is sold, I will receive 97.5 GES. Approve that transaction and it is listed. Look at that, as easy as that. That literally took me about one and a half minutes to get this listed up. I can then share it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Telegram, or I can copy that link to send it around. Try shill it, try sell it, try make some GES. Yeah, gemstone token. I could then pop to my collection and we have here my NFT there. Quite simple, go through art, collectibles, games, metaverses, music, trading cards, and videos um, to, to choose which ones you like. And if you really love selling NFTs, you can make your own store to sell very special NFTs. Yeah, all set around your, your brand. You can brandify this too. The entire ecosystem, again, is launching on mainnet on October the 22nd at UTC time, 12 o'clock, noon, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, UTC 12. I'll put that up here. Let's pop, let me just pop back to the main net again. Let's get, let's get down to business because we do have to talk about the tokens and that is where a lot of my subscribers, I know you like to catch a nice pre-sale or like to catch a nice pump on tokens when they're released. And I'll also be looking at that for this. So we have here the GES token for Marketplace, how to buy that token. I'll link all these in the description. You can also get into their Telegram or check out their Twitter, which does have a pretty impressive uh, 14,000 followers already, the Stone Age NFT marketplace. There are two tokens in this ecosystem. We have the GEG token and the GES token. The GES token is the one that they will be having a presale for on October 15th. Now, looking at the GEG token, it is for Finance Vault's Decentralized Autonomous Organization, DAO. Yeah, they have their own DAO and for ISO pools. The GES token is for the NFT marketplace and also will be for blockchain powered games. So it's gaming and decentralized finance in one ecosystem. Having a look at the GE gem, it was listed here around about the 5th of October and the price is doing not bad actually. Uh, it's $145, it's held up well since the launch. You can also, you can find it on PooCoin too with a, a market cap of 13 million. And if we go into BSC scan, you'll see that there are 6,850 holders already of, of GE gem token. So it makes me quite interested in this ISO, this initial stone offering for the GES token. To get into that, link in the description for this, you would find it here, okay? This is stoneagenft.com forward slash buy GES. This launches two hours and six days from now where you will be able to take BUSD to purchase your GES and get it first in the pre-sale. Of course, the always the greatest thing about getting into any kind of offering is that you're gonna get a better price on the token. Generally, this is not financial advice, but generally, if the, to if the project is solid and you get into pre-sale, you are in a good position to take some profits on a project and also to get a better price into something. If, for example, an NFT marketplace is something that you're interested in getting involved in. So if we get into the tokenomics, first we'll look at the token that's having the, the pre-sale, the GE Stone, okay? Its total supply is 950 million. It's the world's first and largest digital gem and jewelry marketplace for crypto collectibles and non-fungible tokens. Able to buy, sell, and discover exclusive digital assets and physical products. That's right, they're not just dealing with um, digital products here, they're dealing with actual physical ones too. Circulation with blockchain powered games, multiplayer collectible NFT cards, farm builders, battle games, where anyone can buy and own virtual lands, mine exciting items, and meet new friends. The, so the scope for these guys, for GFI or GoFi, is like very large, it's huge. What they are trying to accomplish is combining farming and NFTs but not just NFTs and intangible world, actually going into the tangible world and offering there too. That is the the GES token. So then we do have the GE gem token. Um, you can create money trade incentives for most committed and mot motivated users by centralized finance vaults. 
purchase privileged items on NFT marketplaces and blockchain powered games. So the GEG token will also be used for privilege. Okay, so you might be able to get some bonus things with this token, giving it more use case. Uh, the listing price was $80 for that one. And now it is sitting at $142. So it has pumped fairly large after its listing, which is great to see because it gives me confidence. It does give me, if it listed at $80 and currently it's sitting at $142, that does give me confidence on this other token, on the GES token, that that can do also quite well at launch because they have a very nice ecosystem and it's everything is launching very, very soon. It's not like they have a plan and they're just gonna keep kicking the can down the road, as I like to say. They actually, everything has been sorted out for them. You can find out everything that you need to know about GoFinance and info.gofinance, which is what we're looking at here. DeFi, stake and swap, optimize earnings, obtain limited gamification NFTs. So GoFi is, con constitutes two important ecosystem, which integrates a lucrative finance vault with unique NFT gamification equipped with extensive marketplace, making it one of the most exclusive DeFi projects in the market. Apart from solving the authenticity of physical precious stones by fortifying certifications with blockchain technology. Yeah, you get a semi-precious or precious stone. How do you know it's real? How do you know that it has, actually has any value? If it is backed up by blockchain NFT technology, that's one way that you can find out that this is working. This is kind of the purpose behind a lot of this. The main purpose is to provide a platform for everyone to have a go at DeFi mining and obtain limited GEG and GES tokens pegged with the value of gemstones. Yes, you read that right. Physical precious gemstones. So it's all, there's a lot to take in here and it's cool that they've put it all behind the, the fun of, you know, a nice fun um, NFT marketplace that looks really cartoonized and great fun, you know. But on the back end, loads is going on here. They've had their fair launch of their ISO. They've opened up their portal, their community dashboard. The yield farming is going on their finance vaults. You can find them on GoFi here. This is their yield farm here. You could put your assets in. They have a fair amount staked actually. 190 million staked in their yield farm. Very impressive. Uh, then we have the marketplace opening on the 22nd. Blockchain powered game and then mobile friendly and improved uh, user experience and navigation system. There is a huge plan here to develop, break out and break into the Binance Smart Chain. One thing to end on would be something that I, did, I was reading just before I started doing this review actually, which is that Binance has created $1 billion of funds to accelerate crypto adoption. And as I was reading this, and then I was reading about gemstones being given actual like <laughs> blockchain abilities, um, kind of I had a eureka moment, you know? The investment will go towards the company's Binance smart chain ecosystem to support investments, its builder program, talent development, and liquid liquidity incentives. I see this as being the second boom as of the Binance smart chain, really, if they're getting a billion dollars behind them. Look what it did to the, Fan the Phantom Foundation's grant did to Phantom, you know? So getting behind certain really well set up projects such as Stone Age and the GoFi, GEFi ecosystem is a pretty good gamble um, in my opinion. So I'll be looking out for a lot more kind of gems just like these. Check this out. Okay, click on again their Telegram and keep an eye on this two days, six hours from the making of this video. It's going to take me a couple hours to um, edit it down and then, you know, get to this. All the links for this are in the description. So Twitter. Yeah, Telegram, they're on Medium, they are everywhere. It's all in my description. I hope you had a lovely time. I had a lovely time too. Don't get rich.